Well, I teach uh, two courses. The first one I teach is an introduction to sustainable agriculture. And this, that's usually in the fall. And the second one I teach is organic gardening and food production. Wow, this good cucumber. I teach them that if they can make a garden here, they can make a garden anywhere. It's important that people know how to grow something for their own consumption, herbs, fruit, vegetables. There's a sort of learned helplessness about modern people that scares the hell out of me. We have sunflowers, we have cucumbers, we have um, corn, um, different kinds of uh, herbs, lettuces. Uh, we also have uh, bean stalks, right? You can't use what's here to grow a garden. That's, that's glaringly obvious. It's all rocks and clay. So what we did was we piled on top of it sand, manure, and uh, a compost. Piled it up in berms and now we're growing in it. And of course the soil stays alive. When you make soil by bioremediation with plants, it stays alive. All right, dip inside, see if we'll see how they look. If you will look at the Middle East and Greece, you will see the ruins of ecosystems where people did inappropriate agriculture, sometimes for hundreds and sometimes for thousands of years. The best way to restore fertility to soil is by putting in tree crops, because then we can actually get something for our efforts that we can use while rebuilding the soil. These are Argania nuts. This is a tree that lives in one of the most desolate areas in the world, Argania needs about 120 millimeters of rainfall, and it's very, very uh, powerful engine for redeeming the soil. We have a couple of others, and it put leaves down inches, centimeters thick on the ground, and when this rots down, instead of sand, we have pockets of soil. So this is a way of not only making a living, but restoring the earth that we're working, planting trees.